Hi there. I'm here in Fort McMurray, surrounded by noisy trucks and bustling things. This is a hardworking town. We were squired around town by my friend Robbie Picard, who's sort of a de facto mayor figure. He seems to know every single person in this town. He's a proud Métis man. He loves the oil sands. He's always wearing his I love oil sands t-shirt. He's getting high fives everywhere we go. He just took me around meeting fancy people, ordinary people, official people, newcomers, a bit of everything. And I want to show show you some of the video clips. The very first place that Robbie took me was an auto parts store, bumper to bumper, one of the busiest bumper to bumpers in the country. Well, what's that got to do with the oil sands? Well, it's pretty obvious. This is a city of trucks, not just work trucks, but trucks that guys like it, uh, to play in too. Here's my interview with Keith at Bumper to Bumper. Tell me a little bit about your place here. First though, Tell me about your shirt. What are you doing wearing I Love Oil Sands? Because I, love, I love the oil sands. It's the greatest place in Canada to be. Oil sands, to me, support the rest of the country. Isn't that the truth? Now, you're not originally from Fort McMurray. Tell me about yourself. No, originally from Halifax, yeah. Nova Scotia. Come out here about 10 years ago because this is the place for the working man. Well, and you've made a big... You've got the bumper to bumper here. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous place. It's all about parts and accessories for vehicles. This is a heavy truck town. It is, it is. Um, with the uh, oil sands, the trucking uh, product used out there, plus the individuals here in town, the personal uh, automobile truck owner, hmm, everybody likes to, their vehicle to look good and they like it to run well. So There's some serious, I mean, guys here really spruce up their trucks, not just their work vehicles, but there's a lot of yeah. macked out vehicles. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing. Ever since the beginning of time when it was Horse and buggy, whoever had the nicest buggy, and it's still the same. <laughs> yeah. Now, tell me a little bit about it. Uh, uh, Robbie, our, our guide for the day, yeah. says that you're one of the most successful bumper-to-bumpers in Canada. I don't doubt that. This is a heavy-duty town. I, you know, I'm not asking you to brag, but tell me some of the stats about, about trucks in this town. Oh, it's not just about trucks. It's the product that's supplied from bumper-to-bumper -bumper in Edmonton for us. Uh, good product, good people good customer base. How many That's folks do you employ here? It looks like you got a busy uh, crew. A dozen. Yeah. In this. And we have two stores, one here, one across the river in Thickwood. Yeah. Now, Nova Scotia is a wonderful place. I, I love Halifax, Dartmouth myself. It's a little bit different out here. Um, there's a lot of folks from the Atlantic who've made the decision to leave home. It's a little bit heartbreaking to leave home and make a home here. Why is that? What, what does this place have that beautiful Halifax doesn't? It has the energy. Yeah. The energy of everybody wants to be here to enjoy the benefits of working. So by that, do you mean human energy, like entrepreneurial spirit? Everything, yeah. yes. Everybody is here. It's a blue-collar town. Yeah. And everybody who is here is by choice. Yeah. Now, blue-collar town, but they're making uh, paychecks that would uh, be the envy of a lot of white-collar uh, fancy pants in Toronto. Moved to Alberta. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I was looking at Statistics Canada numbers. And I couldn't believe this, but the median income, like the average guy in this town, according to Statistics Canada, 186000 bucks a year. That's what doctors are making in Toronto. That's what lawyers are making in Montreal. And they deserve it, and so do we. Yeah. Well, this, this is a hardworking city. Yes, it is. Um, do, what do people here do for fun? Whatever you want. Yeah. You know, you land at the airport. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how big the forest is. It's amazing how much nature there is. It's, yeah. it's, it's not the mythology you hear in Toronto about the oil sands, one big tailings pond. It's a gorgeous outdoorsy place. It's uh, Fort McMurray, the Wood Buffalo area. Oh, 31 degrees today, oh, yeah. sunny. Yeah. Boats are in the water, quads are traveling, motorcycles, yeah. whatever you want. Winter time gets a little cool, but bundle up and go out in it. Enjoy the snowmobile trails, the ski hill, yeah. everything that we have to offer. You're a real booster of the town, and I've tried to be in my own way. I wrote a book called Ethical Oil, The Case for Canada. I have that book. Thank <laughs> you. And what drives me crazy is a lot of the critics of the oil sands have never been here, have never seen it, and have a lot of myths about it. Like, you've, you've talked about some of the superlatives about this town, people making money, working hard, playing hard. But it's a real city with a real community, real families, very generous community. Yes. That side doesn't get out. Like, that's not in the media. The people that have come here to visit, we'll call them the Hollywood entourage. Yeah, like the Leonardo DiCaprio's, they jet in 
jet in, jet out. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that jet flies like a glider. I'm not <laughs> sure, but maybe. Yeah. Uh, I know James Cameron was here to do his two-minute blurb on it, and when he saw the uh, reclaimed land, he, he turned around and went back. He was more open-minded yes. than others. I got to yeah. give him credit. I was. I, I. He came here with anger in his heart, like with a hard heart, and I yeah. think. He actually had a bit of an open mind. Not DiCaprio, not Neil Young. Those guys are just hypocritical haters. I mean, they're both super high carbon guys. They, they have vehicles, they have jet planes. Let me ask you this. I mean, it's tough to know, but what's your theory? Why would guys like that, millionaires who jet around, why would they disparage Canadian ethical oil while they're using Saudi conflict oil that's imported to California? What, what's motivating them? Maybe they like to get on TV. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's a good theory. Well, speaking of TV, Keith, it's been a pleasure talking with you. I see customers are coming in and out yeah. of your store, so I won't keep you. Maybe. But uh, I want to say thanks to you for, for being such a good spokesman for the city. What a good egg. You know, uh, my favorite thing about that interview is when I asked him where home was, he said, home's here in Fort McMurray, Nova Scotia, where he's from. But this is where his heart is. I thought that was amazing. What a patriot. What a great man. This city is full of great men and, men and women like that. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant in Fort McMurray.